In English, we have five conditional tenses. Now, we know that's a lot to learn and it can get confusing. So, we've made this video to explain how the different tenses refer to different moments in time. If you want to learn more about each individual tense, check out our conditional series. Okay, let's start with the zero conditional. We use the zero conditional to talk about facts, general truths and routines. For example, if you heat ice, it melts. That's a fact. It's true now and it always has been true. And we usually use the present simple in both the if clause and the result clause. However, we can also use the zero conditional to talk about things that were true in the past. For example, if you heated water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boiled. The past simple expresses that this was always true in the past. Here's another example. If I forgot my homework, I got detention. In this example, the past simple expresses a general truth in the past. It emphasizes that if I forgot my homework, I always got detention. So remember, we can use the zero conditional to talk about things that are true now and things that were true in the past. Now, let's take a look at the first conditional. We use the first conditional to talk about future situations we believe are real or possible. For example, if it rains tomorrow, I will take an umbrella. The if clause tells us about a possible situation that could occur in the future. And the result clause tells us what the consequence of that situation will be if it happens. The structure of a first conditional is if clause in the present simple and will plus verb. Although the if clause is in the present simple, don't let that confuse you. In a first conditional, the if clause refers to a possible future situation, not a present situation. OK, let's look at the second conditional. The second conditional is used to talk about hypothetical or unreal situations in the present or future. For example, if she knew French, she would move to Paris. In this example, the situation is if she knew French and the result is she would move to Paris. It presents an unreal situation in the present and the hypothetical result in the future. It follows a simple formula. The if clause uses the past simple and the result clause uses would plus verb. It's important to remember that although the if clause uses the past simple, it actually refers to the present or future. A tip for the second conditional is to use it to express desires unlikely events or hypothetical situations that could happen now or in the future. It's not for talking about things that did or did not happen in the past. OK, let's look at the third conditional. The third conditional is used to talk about an unreal or hypothetical situation in the past and the result if it had happened. Let's look at some examples so that you understand the concept. Imagine you missed your flight to go on holiday. You could say, if I had caught the flight, I would have arrived at the hotel by now. The if clause is in the past perfect and the result clause is would have with the past participle. Had caught the flight is the action in the past that did not happen. And would have arrived at the hotel is the possible result of that action if it had happened. 
it's all about reflecting on events that didn't happen and their potential outcomes if they had. Okay, finally we have the mixed conditional. The mixed conditional is a combination of different types of conditionals. It typically mixes elements of the second conditional and the third conditional. For example, if the comet had not hit Earth, dinosaurs would be alive today. We have an unreal past situation and the present result of that situation if it had happened. The structure uses the past perfect tense in the if clause to refer to an unreal past situation and would with a verb in the result clause to refer to the present result. If I were subscribed to this channel, I would have seen the other videos on conditionals. This structure uses the past simple in the if clause to refer to a present unreal situation and would, with, have and the past participle in the result clause to refer to the past result. Strange, isn't it? It's almost like we can travel through time with the mixed conditional. Okay, so that's all five conditionals. We realize it can be quite difficult to understand the concept of all the different types. So we hope this video helps. We also have various other videos that will deepen your understanding of conditionals. So check them out if you want to learn more.